Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Music Theory Tuition series where I work with you step by step through the ABRSM Discovering Music Theory grades. I'll work through every single exercise and explain everything you need to know. You can access information about the books I have available to help you on my website. Go to SharonBill.com. For advert-free and longer lessons, you can become a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sharon Bill. If you can give me a like, that would be super. And please do subscribe to my channel to stay updated. You can support this channel by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Sharon Bill. Moving on with this topic of key signatures, we're on to page 28 of the Grade 5 Discovering Music Theory. And we're now looking at these key signatures and we've got to check off which is the correct key signature. So only one of each of these sections is correct. So we need to suggest the correct key signature for F sharp major. And if you do your circle of fifths, we can see that F sharp major does have six sharps, F, C, G, D, A, E. However, not all of these are written correctly. So one, two, three, four, five, six. They've all got six sharps, but they're not written correctly. They must follow the procedure as shown over the page, the previous page. They must show this particular arrangement. Notice that the tenor clef is slightly different. They That does go slightly in a different pattern. Um, and the reason we have that is that at a quick glance you can just see the key signature. You don't even need to read what they are, you just get used to seeing the pattern and you already know what key signature it is. Now this one can't be correct because F, C, yes this is G, this is G sharp but it should be this high G. We go as high as we can here without using a le ledger line. F, C, G, D. Now that should be a D sharp, it should go uh, let's get some manuscript paper. It should go in the treble clef F, C, G, D. Now A has to be low, otherwise it would have larger lines, and then E. That's what we're looking for. And so we can see five cuts go down. That's the wrong one. That's a B. Then it's D. They're all out of order as well as in the wrong place. So that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. All of those are wrong, so it can't be that one. Now here, we've got the proper arrangement, F, C, G, D, A, E. They're all in the right place, that's the correct one. However, let's just squeeze every drop we can out of this exercise and let's figure out what's wrong here. Now this one looks like it could be right, however, F, C, G, D. This one here is C, D, E, F, G, A. However, this needs to be here. C, B, it needs to be that one there. If you just turn over the page, look at the alto clef. It's there, isn't it? So we need to just be careful with that one there. So that's why that one's wrong. And then here, the tenor clef. So this is correct. However, this one, which should be C, D, E, that should be there. And so that one is wrong. So it just takes a little bit of practice getting your eye in, making sure, especially if you're not used to reading these clefts, so you've got to make sure they're in the right place, as well as the correct position on the stave. Let's press on to exercise B. So E flat minor. is related to G flat major, which has six flats, B, E, A, D, G, C. So C, B, C, D, E, C, B, A, D, C, B, A, G, C. That is correct. That's 
that. So we could just leave it at that, but let's think why are these incorrect? Let's just use this as a good revision opportunity. B, E, A, D. Now this one here, that's an F flat and it shouldn't be. It should be a G flat. It should be the G flat. The placement is wrong. So you've got to be careful it's on the right note. Although the pattern looks correct, it's actually placed on the space, not the line there. So that's what's wrong with that one. This one, B, E, A, D. C, B, A, that one there is wrong because that's C, B, A, that's an F and it should be a G flat. So they've done the same mistake as here, here, but in the different clef. So that's placed C, B, A, that should be on the space there. So that's wrong. And then here, B, E, A, D. G, now that's correct until this one here, because that should be a C flat and at the moment it's a B flat. It should be here. It's placed incorrectly, it's on the wrong note. So that's that. So then let's move on. And so now if you think you're getting the hang of it, I do suggest you press pause and have a go on your own and do now try these on your own and then pop back into the video and we'll check them through together. So I'm hoping you've had a go. So B major, we know from our circle of fifths, should have F, C, G, D, A sharps, five sharps and those sharps in particular. And this one, the pattern looks right, C, G, D. However, here, this is where it goes wrong. It's right until this point. That's a B sharp and it shouldn't be. I down A. So it should be that sharp there. Silly me, although of course this low sharp here is incorrect because that's on the line for B, silly me, I'd put the sharp up here and the base clef A sharp should be here in this bottom space. So that's me not multitasking very well. That one is correct. Let's look at why this one is not. So it is right away, this one sort of rings an alarm bell because it's just floating off nowhere. So we have F, C, G, D. We should have an A sharp now. And it's as if they're implying a ledger line. So it's just sort of floating off randomly into the distance. Because the A sharp would require a ledger line, it's gonna to have to come down, it should be here. So it should be that. And then here, G, F. This one is the rogue one here because it should be an A sharp, which is C, B, A sharp would be there. That's the wrong one there. And then let's look at this one. So B flat minor is related to D flat major. It should have five flats, B, E, A, D, G flats. Let's see what's happening here. B, E, A, D, C, B. That's the wrong one there because B, E, A, D, G, C, B, A, G would be here the flat would be there, so that's not correct. Let's look at this one. B, E, A, D, C, B, A, that's correct. That's our correct answer. Let's see why this is wrong. So here, already, because you're used to seeing the kind of diagonal pattern, we can see that this one just seems in the wrong place. Let's see why. So we have B flats, E flats, that is an A flat, but it shouldn't be there. It drops down to continue that diamond pattern. It should be there. And this is why it's so important to always place them correctly because we get used to just recognizing the shape of it as a whole rather than having to work out the individual flats or sharps every time. So that's the wrong one there. And then here, B, E, A, D, this should be a G flat and they put a C flat. It's the wrong flat, it's the wrong pitch. It should be G flat there. So that's that exercise completed. Let's move on. 
So exercise two, we need to circle one clef to make these key signatures correct. And so here, G sharp minor is related to B major. If you refer to your circle of fifths, F, C, G, D, A sharps. So we've got the right number of sharps. So the first sharp needs to be an F sharp. Always, this needs to be an F sharp. And so for this to be an F, that would be treble clef. Every good boy says football. If we put the treble clef, everything else is correct. That's A. So treble clef. Really, the first sharp gives that two as and everything else fits in. F, C, G, D, A. So that's that one. So you know that if you just figure out your first sharp, your first flat, the rest will fall in line. And that will make it much easier for you. So perhaps you can have a go of this on your own. And then pop back into the video and we can check through together. So let's now check through the rest of these together. So G flat major should have a key signature of B, E, A, D, G and C flat. But we only need the B flat to get it started. So if that is C, that would be B. So that gives us our clef. We need that to be C and then that will be B flat. And so it's got to be the tenor clef, hasn't it? D sharp minor. So D sharp minor is related to F sharp major, which has a key signature of F, C, G, D, A, E sharp. But always the first sharp has got to be F sharp. And so for this to be F sharp, that's going to have to be bass clef, good boys deserve football. And then the rest will fall in there. That would be C, G, D, A, E. So that's why we need that bass clef. D flat major has a key signature of B, E, A, D, G flat. And so we know this first flat is always B. And so if that is a B, this must be C. So for our clef to make this C, it's got to be alto clef with the C being that middle line. So it's got to be alto clef. Now then, F sharp major has a key signature of six sharps, and of course the first sharp has got to be F sharp, so for this to be an F, so let's think, F, G, A, B, C, that makes this the C, and so that's got to be the tenor clef. So C, B, A, G, F sharp, and then everything else, C, that's correct. And then finally, E flat minor is related to G flat major, which has a key signature of B, E, A, D, G, C flats. But of course, this first flat has got to be a B flat. And for that to be a B flat, it's going to be bass clef, good boys. And then everything else will fall in accordingly. So that one is nice and easily completed. I hope this is helpful to your studies. Please do like and subscribe to stay updated. If you'd like to support this channel, you can buy me a coffee. And for advert free lessons, you can become a patron. Do visit my website where you'll find many resources available to help you. Visit SharonBill.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.